H.P. Blavatsky, a radical thinker and a campaigner for women's rights ahead of her time, by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. H.P. Blavatsky introduced many new and often controversial ideas to the approach to and study of esoteric philosophies. Her mission to interpret wisdom contained in Eastern philosophies for the Western mind in her writings broke new ground. Blavatsky's introduction of Eastern spiritual concepts such as karma and reincarnation to the Western world were a significant achievement. Through her writings and teachings, she introduced these concepts and their significance in spiritual and philosophical thought, sparking an interest in Eastern spirituality in the West. One of the most significant contributions that Blavatsky made was to the study of comparative religion. She believed that all religions had a common origin and that they shared many of the same fundamental principles. This was a radical idea at the time, as many people believed that their religion was the only true one. Blavatsky's ideas laid the foundation for the modern study of comparative religion and her work remains relevant today. In addition to her contributions to the study of religion, Blavatsky also introduced new ideas to Western spiritualism. Spiritualists believed they had the ability to communicate with the dead through mediums at seances. Although at one time a practicing spiritualist, Blavatsky challenged the accepted premises of spiritualism. She postulated that spiritualists were not actually contacting the true self of a deceased person, but were actually contacting the shell of the personality which had separated from the true self and was dissolving away. She also postulated that malevolent discarnate entities could be invoked in the seance room. These at the time were controversial ideas and posed a serious challenge to orthodox spiritualism. H. P. Blavatsky was also a proponent of esotericism and occultism. She believed that there were hidden mystical truths that could only be accessed through intense study and meditation. This was another radical idea at the time, as many people believed that the physical world was all that existed. Blavatsky's ideas influenced many occultists and mystics who came after her, and her work remains influential in the esoteric and occult communities. H.P. Blavatsky was an outspoken advocate for women's rights, writing extensively on the need for women's education and equality. In an era where women were often marginalised and oppressed, Blavatsky broke through social and cultural barriers to promote feminist ideals and pave the way for future generations of women. Here are some examples of women's rights issues raised in her writings. She says in The Key to Theosophy, Aim at creating free men and women, free intellectually, free morally, unprejudiced in all respects, and above all things, unselfish. In her Theosophical Glossary, this quote indicates Blavatsky's opposition to male-dominated religions. She says, Both men and women may be shamans. Also in her Theosophical Glossary, she draws attention to religious persecution of women. The witches were at first called wise women, until the day when the church took it unto herself to follow the law of Moses, which put every witch or enchantress to death. In Volume 2 of The Secret Doctrine, Blavatsky speaks out against violence towards women and children when she says, One has but to read the daily papers to find in those wife and child beating drunken brutes, husbands and fathers, a small percentage of whom is daily brought before the courts, the complete personifications of the devils of Christian hell. In The Moat and the Beam, she says of women's rights in Britain. Which of the female serfs of sex in free England would not gladly exchange her position as a wife and mother for that of a wife and mother in despotic Russia? And later in the same article, are you aware that in despotic, half-civilised Russia, the rights of women before the law are on a par with those of men, and in some cases, their privileges far greater? In Progress and Culture, H.P. Blavatsky urges women to take direct action. 
she says, And now, a word of good advice to all the members of leagues and other societies connected with women's rights. In our days of culture and progress, now that it is shown that in union alone lies strength, and that tyrants can be put down only by their own weapons, and that finally we find that nothing works better than a strike. Let all the champions of women's rights strike and pledge themselves not to set foot in a church or chapel until their rights are re-established and their equality with men recognised by law. We prophesy that before six months are over, every one of the bishops in Parliament will work as jealously as themselves to bring in bills of reformation and pass them. Thus will Mosaic and Talmudic law be defeated to the glory of woman. She maintained that women had a crucial role to play in the spiritual development of humanity, and she encouraged them to take an active part in theosophy. She believed that men and women needed to work together to create a more just and equitable society, and that the spiritual awakening she advocated would require a fundamental shift in the way people related to each other. There were links between theosophy and the suffragist movement in the late 19th and early 20th century. <laughs>